Hello, YouTube. Uh, before I get started today, I wanted to ask you to please hit that subscribe button and the like button. It helps me and it helps you if you enjoy the content. And there will be a follow up video to this one coming soon. So if you enjoy this one, you'll probably want to watch that one as well. Uh, this is a, another new boot bin. This is a pair of Westcos. I ordered these. Well, these are a rebuild. So I sent I sent these into Westco like eleven months ago. What 40, 47 weeks, something like that. At the time, a rebuild was supposed to take 12 weeks. I think now I've seen that it takes 15 weeks. I did not, I did not get an email or anything telling me that it had gone to 15 weeks, but I did see, I think that it did. Um, so these did take quite a while to come back much longer. There is a bit of a story that's going to go with that later. But these are a harness rebuild, um, stock rebuild. Um, the only thing that I asked to be adjusted on these is I asked for a plus one on the heel stack. And I asked for the, the Dr. Souls, well, West Coast branded, but Dr. Souls, half souls. So I do like that. That looks really cool. It's, this has been my, my favorite soul now. And I really like that little look on the waist there. So Let's see the inserts that they always send. There's nothing else in here. Not that I would expect there to be. Of course, there's no laces for a boot like this. So this is, you know, like I said, this is just a unboxing video so it won't be a real long video it's a harness boot that you don't see very much a the harness boot is i fell in love with it early i had a pair of fries that i got when i think it was in 10th or 11th grade in high school and i found them at the mall on sale and bought them and fell in love with them and wore them to death and I've had a few harness boots since, but none of them matched up or came close. So I decided that I needed to step up. Uh, I bought this pair used on eBay because the price was super cheap because the uppers were in fantastic shape and because I could send them in for a rebuild right away and avoid the two year wait uh, because it was a 12 week wait for a rebuild. So I was kind of getting around the system and still getting a virtually brand new boot for, for less than it would have been new. Uh, so that's what I had going on here. Of course, it's got the double stitch, stitch down, it's a square toe. It looks really nice. Uh, I'm very, well, I can't say I'm very impressed because I did have high expectations for the building of the boot. I asked for beeswax on the edges. So I'm real happy with the looks of this boot. Um, 
what's going to be coming later is after I try them on and wear them a little bit, I'm going to be doing a follow up video on how they fit because that's the potential issue that I have with Westco right now. They, um, I had sent, it sent this pair in, um, they didn't fit right. I had, oh, see, look at that. I didn't measure that. It looked okay, but now that I'm looking at it, is that, yeah. So that's screw up, I guess, number one. I had asked for a higher heel, like my engineers were. It's not, they kept the heel where it was. Um, I do realize that one of them is a full sole and one of them is a half sole, but they, when you do a half sole, you automatically compensate for that. So they should have done a plus one because it was a half sole because you didn't have the piece of rubber in the middle there. And they should have done a plus one on top of that because it was my request because I wanted taller heel stack. I do have a high arch. According to Westco, having a higher heel helps, uh, helps you feel the arch. It's virtually non-existent at Westco, but this is their highest arched model. And Westco told me that doing a plus one on the heel would help me uh, help me feel the arch more and help my feet to be a little bit more happy feeling more arch. So, like I said, this is supposed to be a plus one and it is not. So strike one. Uh, but anyway, this pair here, they had never fit me right. They offered to send them back, uh, take them back and rebuild them. You know, I'm getting into a story that's for the next video. Uh, long story short, these don't fit right, even though they went back another time and they say they rebuilt them. And I'm convinced that that is a lie. But again, next video. So, yeah, this is supposed to be a plus one. It is not. Um, the uppers, I already knew the condition of, and they're in great condition. Uh, everything about the stitching on these looks real good. They, they did take care of the, the, the edges, which look good. So, uh, I didn't get the custom fit out of these. I was supposed to, um, they ended up giving me more of a stock size. They, it's going to be a, this is a nine and a half. E with a bumped out toe is what it's supposed to be. So it's supposed to be bumped out a little bit this way and bumped up a little bit this way. And by doing that, it effectively uh, makes them about a half size larger while keeping the, uh, the ankle area a little bit tighter to hold my foot better. So we will see how it fits. They got a whole, they, they received a whole lot of details from me and it's just a matter of what they did with that information and what they actually did for me. So like I said, I will be trying these on, uh, breaking them in a little bit. I, I think I'll be able to form my opinion without very much break in. So, <clears throat> The follow-up video for this might be in like two weeks. So I'll get some wear on these things, assuming that they fit well enough to get some wear on them. And I'll be getting back with y'all. I really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, sorry that wasn't a longer video. There's just not much to discuss here. Uh, without getting into things that I'll be getting into later. So thanks a lot, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.